You can call us the fanboys of Korea's automotive industry, but still, we will not get tired of popularizing their outstanding designs and innovative tech. Today, let's return to the peninsula to explore their newest crossover SUVs arriving from 2023 and beyond. The wide selection of models, unrivaled interior quality, rich standard equipment, and surely the best price-to-value ratio. This is a brief description of the models by Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis. So, if you haven't already, subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy this buying guide. Kia Telluride For years into its lifespan, and yet Kia's largest SUV remains an exemplary family three-row on the cutting edge of innovation. The 2023 facelift only polishes the already attractive lines of the Telluride. Namely, there is a new grille design, revised rear, fresh wheels for each trim, three extra paint options, and two new off-roady trim levels, X-Line and X-Pro, with 0.4 inches higher clearance. As usual, Kia plays it simple with the drivetrain selection by keeping the potent 3.8-liter V6, rated for 291 horses and 262 pound-feet. The 8-speed automatic and front-wheel drive also remain unchanged, but the all-wheel drive models open up two new driving modes, snow and all-wheel drive lock. When it comes to cabin upgrades, we should highlight the model's new steering wheel, fresh interior color options, redesigned dashboard trim, and onboard Wi-Fi. Lastly, both the instrument cluster and the infotainment are stretched to 12.3 inches in diagonal. Genesis GV70 Electrified Unlike the original electro crossover by Genesis of the GV60, this compact luxury SUV is more of an electric retrofit. Instead of getting a dedicated eGMP underpinnings, this Genesis keeps the internal combustion platform, though the battery modules do have the appropriate architecture to support the 800 volt charging and have a useful vehicle to load charging capability. The CV keeps the two-line quad lamp sliding signature and a G-matrix pattern, but the grille is surely closed off. The GV70 Electrified is likely to be offered in multiple versions, but for now we only have concrete data on the flagship tram with 300 miles and a 486 horsepower dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain. As a proper luxury make, the GV70 Electrified gets posh natural leather and 30% wool fabric seats, widescreen infotainment, Lexicon sound system, and a level 2 autonomy tech. Kia Niro EV As expected from a proper redesign, the next-generation Niro bulks up in size, adding 2 inches in length and 0.8 inches in width. The crossover adopts a futuristic exterior styling presented by the Habanero concept but sadly, the butterfly doors did not make it to production. The front fascia houses new angular headlights with sharp LED TRLs, a revised grille, and a repositioned charging port. This crossover looks more rugged thanks to the fresh black cladding, while its rear gets vertical boomerang-style taillights and dark-painted C-pillars. As before, Kia Niro is sold in three powertrain options. Full hybrid and PHEV with 53 and 105 mpg respectively, and a pure electric model. The latter is the flagship configuration powered by a 201 HP front-wheel drive motor with 291 pound-feet and 253 miles of range. When you enter the new Niro, expect a significantly upscaled cabin with a two-spoke steering wheel, recycled upholstery materials, head-up display, and a driver-centric dual panoramic cockpit. Hyundai Palisade Introduced to the 2022 New York Auto Show, the mid-cycle refresh for the Palisade continues to refine its blocky styling 
and adds even more stuff that modern families want to see in a 7-seater. The new grille reminds us of armor cladding of the new Lexus LX, while the boomerang-shaped vertical LED headlights are pushed to the edges for a visually wider stance. There are several new wheel designs, auto-dimming side mirrors, and a revised rear section. As before, the power comes from a 3.8-liter Atkinson Cycle V6 that is paired with an 8-speed automatic. Passenger accommodations are decorated with four upholstery options and are improved with the massage function for the driver's seat, second-row ventilation, third-row heating, and an optional acoustic laminated rear door glass. The new Telluride is packed with a 12.3-inch panoramic display with navigation, Wi-Fi hotspots, and a new phone as a key function. Kia Sportage The fifth-generation Sportage finally arrives to the US market as the 2023 model. The SUV gets a longer wheelbase measuring 108.5 inches, debuts fresh exterior design and offers a variety of trim levels, including a couple of off-road-oriented ones. The Sportage gets all LED lighting, up to 8.3 inches of ground clearance, and rides on 17 to 19-inch wheels, optionally red and all-terrain tires. At the time of this video release, the crossover can already be purchased with two drivetrain options. A 2.5-liter four-cylinder with 187 horses and a hybrid based on a 1.6-liter turbo 4. Later in the year, it should also arrive as a plug-in with 261 HP, a 13.8-kWh battery and 32 electric miles. Depending on the drivetrain and trim, the interior of the Sportage boasts a 12.2-inch digital instrument cluster plus an 8-inch infotainment or a dual panoramic 12.3-inch screen system. Full-scale smartphone integration and Kia suite of advanced driver assists are standard, while the upgrades include a 360-degree camera with 3D view and a Harman Kardon audio system. Prove your loyalty to Korean brands by smashing the like button and watching this video till the end. Thanks for the feedback and let's proceed! Hyundai Ioniq 7 Most likely, the 7 will arrive as a 2024 model and will be building up on the success already achieved by the world's car of the year, Ioniq 5. Koreans promise that the production version of this concept will keep many of its key features, like an aerodynamic body, pixel LED lighting, futuristic Hyundai front fascia, first introduced by the Staria MPV, and boundless interior space. What you should not expect to see in the mass-produced Ionic 7, though, are the concepts L-shaped third-row seats, pillarless coach doors, OLED screen that doubles down as a panoramic roof, and a retractable control stick instead of a classic steering wheel. The powertrain remains undisclosed, but the production version eyes 300 miles of range, 350 kilowatt recharging rate, and either single or dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrains. Genesis GV60 This crossover concludes the original trio of Hyundai Group's electric SUVs based on the dedicated 800V eGMP platform. Unlike the midsize Ionic 5 and EV6, this is a compact crossover that follows the athletic elegance identity. This means a Coupe SUV roofline, fixed-wing rear spoiler, flush door handles, 19 through 21-inch wheel designs, and a beak-inspired cross grille with two-line headlamps. The Genesis GV60 will be available in two trims, advanced and performance, with a single rear or dual-motor all-wheel drive configurations, both powered by the larger 77 kWh battery. The interior sports an intriguing mix of plant-based leather, Alcantara, and fabrics derived from recycled BET bottles and fishnets. By the way, besides a large dual-screen cockpit, the cabin leaves a lasting impression with a crystal sphere that does double duty as a shift-by-wire selector and the vehicle's mood lights. <laughs> K 
Kia Mojave Also known as Kia Barraco, the second-generation Mojave gets a couple of updates for 2023 and switches to Kia's new corporate logo. As before, the SUV has a body-on-frame construction and sits between the Saran 2 and the Telluride in terms of the overall dimensions. The chassis and suspension get tweaked for a more comfortable and quieter ride. Plus, the standard windows are swapped for the double-glazed ones, which also improve soundproofing. The diesel-powered 3.0-liter V6 serves as the only source of propulsion. It peaks at 257 HP and 413 pound-feet and drives all four wheels with the help of an 8-speed automatic. In addition, the Mojave gains a new gravity variant distinguished by a black exterior trim and exclusive interior styling. Speaking about the cabin design, it offers 5, 6 and 7-seat layouts with several nap upholstery choices and Alcantara steering wheels and armrests. The tech features include 7 or 12.3-inch driver display, a huge infotainment, smart cruise control and a multi-collision automatic braking. Kia EV9 The next step in the evolution of Kia's electric vehicles based on the eGMP platform will be a full-sized crossover SUV previewed by the EV9 concept. The latter is a blocky three-row that looks like the current generation Kia Soul but on steroids. It has a new digital tiger face, pixel-type LED headlights with vertical DRLs, and a transparent roof. The hood of the EV9 houses a solar panel while the roof is fitted with retractable rails for hauling gear. There are also bolt wheel arches and massive 23-inch three-spoke wheels. The EV platform supports fast charging at 350 kW, stores 300 miles of range, and will be available in both single and dual-motor drivetrain configurations. The interior of the concept looks rather futuristic. There are six floating seats, a huge 27-inch display, and a yoke-style steering wheel, which might become a new norm by the time the model begins production. Would you agree that Korean car brands are likely to dominate the sales charts in the future? Which Korean SUV from this list is your top pick? Join us in the discussion in the comment section below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, smash the like button and follow the links to watch more informative videos. Stand with Ukraine and may the torque be with you!